We are, that's Momo's tail in the frame. Today we are going to see if our cats prefer expensive food or cheap food. We got a variety of foods from the grocery store. So it's all grocery store ones, but like varying price ranges and some are better than others when it comes to nutrition as well. We're gonna see if they prefer fast food or if they prefer fine dining. Starting with the cheapest one, whiskers. I'm sure everybody is fairly, I think this is very international. Momo gets hungry. Stop it or I will separate you. Starting with the cheapest one, we chose whiskers. Pretty international, I think everybody knows it. Little pouch. Everybody's only getting one screw. And I'm rinsing the screen in between to avoid cross-contamination. Momo, are you ready? Huh? Earn it. Good boy. Up. Up. Good boy. What a surprise. Everybody likes junk food. Momo and Kevy loved it. Luna is struggling with it. But Luna struggles with everything. She's a bit... Uh... She, she likes it. It's just... No, but she's also at a disadvantage because she's eating out of a plate, which means it's super slippery and has no edges. Food number two is Nutrifades. This one I bought because it has a miso on the front. I've never fed this to any of them before. It's... Duck and orange flavored? Why would someone put orange flavor in cat food? Weird. Let's see if they like orange. Don't say that my cats have ever been interested in citrus while we eat it. Kind of like... Kind of like pate, but not as nice. What does it smell like? It does have... It kind of tastes like liver paste, to be honest. It tastes like did you eat it? No. Uh, but it does have a little bit of a citrusy smell. Let's see, let me tell you. It's a mousse, but it's not a soft mousse. Apparently this is how, how to get Momo to mew on camera. Habby said I was giving too big portions, so I'm doing very small portions now. Okay. This one is at a disadvantage. Does that look about the same for everyone? Are you guys ready? Momo? Earn it. Spinny spin. Momo, spin. Good boy. That went down in one go. I'm not sure he even tasted that. Neither did Kevy by the look of it. Luna! Alice! Nope. <laughs> Luna doesn't seem convinced. No more will let her have it. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I played the fence for you, Luna. Alice did eat hers very happily. Is it the consistency, Luna? Because I understand. It did seem weird even with the spoon. Next, we have, ah, this is also Nutri Phase, but the more expensive version. This is the one that looks like chicken soup. Shall we open it, Mom? It also comes resealable, which is quite nice. It legit looks like frozen chicken soup. Hmm. I just wonder, it looks like it's just white meat, which will obviously not be very nutritious. Balanced. Momo, up, Momo, up, hey, up, good boy, oh yeah, you can eat up there if you want, you can, Alice, Momo should really love this one because he loves chicken, yeah he really does, it's one of his favorites, chicken and yogurt of his absolute weaknesses, Alice enjoyed it as well, so these are Kit Kat. Kit Goat, Kat? Yeah, Kit Kat. Goat milk gourmet and chicken and lamb, deboned. I'm gonna put both of these on the plate and we can see if, hopefully they look slightly different. We can see if they prefer one of them. Mm, it looks very chickeny. No, mister, we're showing the people. Okay, the one with goat's milk has a darker chunks in it and it's a bit more liquidy this one's more jellish so as you can see definitely yeah which one is which mama you can have this one for free okay 
me. Well, the solid one went down in one go. Uh, Maya went first for the good smoke one. Kevin went for the solid one first as well. Very Tweedle here, Tweedle Dog. Next up, second most expensive in the lineup is Royal Canin. It's the mother and baby cat. It's high in protein and stuff. And this is what they get when they're at the vet. Oh, do you know it? Do you know it, Momo? You know this one, Momo. We've had this before. So this one is a proper mousse. It's very soft. Yes, I know you love this. This is the only good thing that comes out of the vet, huh? So I have three chonkos that are here to eat most. <laughs> okay. One more. Spinny spin. No, you do it properly. Spin. One more. Spinny spin. 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 He doesn't want to do spinny spin. Let's do pull then. Good boy. Do you even taste that? Kevies is gone before the camera even has time to focus. Last but not least, Veruva Mid East Feast. It's fish. Yes, you can have it now. Now, this is what it looks like. This is the most expensive one we bought. Let's see what we've got. I cannot get another thing. Ah, Momo, claws. Claws, baby. Interesting. Smells very fishy, yo. And there's fish skin and everything in here, I can see it. Shall we try? Do you want this? Do you want the fish? Oh, do you want it? Does it smell good? Up, no, up. Good boy, you can have it. Oh, eating very eagerly though. Maya seems to really like this one. She's going ham on the plate. She's eating really fast. Kevin's actually a bit slower on this one. I'm better than Maya. Alright, what have we learned from this? <laughs> what we have learned is that our cats will eat anything. <laughs> but I would be very interested to see if between all of those they would have a favorite so I think maybe in the next video since we have some of the foods left we just grab like a board or something and put one spoon of each and then bring the cats in individually and see if they all go for the same one if they go from left to right and there's like a system I think that would be quite interesting so if you'd like to see that like comment subscribe if there's a food you'd like us to see if we can find in South Africa that we can see if our cats will like and tell us what your cats See you in the next one.